such a late inclusion. There was a lot of talk about Mitch Grigg and his hip injury from last week. He did not come up. Lynch, being one of the big improvers, oh, and he got through his tackle. And the pass superb. Alton takes the mark instead. Eight goals two this year. Said he was sick of being dropped last season. He knew the onus was on him to have a good year. He's played every game this year. And he gives Adelaide the lead. Play uh, in the forward line is a really pivotal player, but it's a, because of this tackle. He ducked his head nicely yeah. there. And uh, Tommy Lynch just squeezed it through and hit up another player. And that's two hit-up players that they've uh, given shots at goal to, Spud. So clearly they're not long bombing. They're going to go short. They're running their midfield through the goal square. Thompson's there at the present time. <laughs> Rough head. Got support, Morris. Well, Throw. Dangerfield uh, wrapped him up. That has to be a free kick. Crows might have been robbed of one there. There was a throw. Yeah, was a Liberatore throw. to Minson. Wallace bends it outside 50. <laughs> Minson. Douglas on the move. Sidestep. Hands it to Dangerfield. Copybook. It's a question of whether or not uh, a flood of goals will come. They have just killed them at stoppages and uh, contested ball in this quarter. They've been inside forward 50 on 13 occasions to the Bulldogs four. And this occasion, it was Paddy Dangerfield. It was good. Hard Campbell again, Dalhouse. God, has to be ball. Great tackle, Brown. And then keeps out of play. If he lays the ball off, and takes the space he can do. Bulldogs getting numbers back though. Everybody filling space for the dog. Smith has every Bulldog on the planet ahead of him. And he oh, still beautiful. finds a target. Van Burlo inside 50 to cut it to a five point game. Just to create some space and hit up leading targets.